Hi, it's Sean with Kiwi. Today we're going to talk about tire chains. Sometimes you're going to have tire chain restrictions on the road where you're forced to put them on to go down the highway. You've got to obey the laws on that. Try to avoid those situations in the first place. But a lot of times if you're just stuck in a parking space, you can use the tire chain as a traction aid just laid out on the ground or draped over the top of your tire to be able to get you out of that tight situation. And then you can walk back and pick up your tire chain afterwards. In a situation where you think you might need to use a tire chain, you want to first make sure that you have the correct chains. So the chains come in different lengths depending on your tire size. Within our fleet we have some trucks with 11R225 tires and some with the 275-80 low profile 225s. So the tire chain that fits them is going to be different. You want to lay your tire chain out on the ground and make sure that it doesn't have any twists in it. So the side chains need to be all straight. It's pretty common for a chain to get tossed through the middle as it's being handled. And as that happens, it puts a twist in the side chains. So look carefully at the side chains and make sure that they're straight. Take any of the twists out. <clears throat> That's really important because if you don't get the twists out, the chain is gonna be too short to go around the entire tire and be able to read, make the ends meet. So. Once you get it laid out, then you want to consider how to lay it on the tire. The smooth side of the side links, you want to be next to the tire. And then you want your adjuster links to end up on the outside side wall of the tire. So you pick it up correctly and lay it over the top of the tire. So you can see here that we've got the smooth side of those links is next to the side wall of the tire and we've got our adjusters, adjuster cams on the outside of the tire. Then you want to shift that chain so that one of the cross chains is just about ready to go underneath the front of the tire or the rear of the tire and then you're going to move the truck so that it's on top of the chain. So you want to set up your chain right at the edge of the tire. Now we have to move the truck. I'm just going to pull it forward and rotate that tire about a quarter of a turn. Now it's important to try to get all the slack in the chain around to the back side. So you want to start tensioning the chain, pulling it around to the back side of the tire, getting all the slack out of it that you possibly can. And you want to shift it toward the inside of the tire a little bit because all of your tightening is going to happen on the outside. Then you want to get a hold of your inside link and get that as tight as you can, as many links as you can reach. And then come to the outside of your tire and do the same thing. Ideally it would be in the same link on both sides. And if you're going to have a lot of excess, you can take that last link and put it on the hook before you go and find your link that you're going to hook into that'll keep it from flopping around so much try to get this as tight as possible once you're satisfied that you've got the chain as tight as you can get it with the hooks then you want to get your tensioning tool and go to your cams on the outside of the chain i usually start at the bottom so that i can finish up here on the top where it's more convenient and you want to start tightening your cams and that shortens the chain by about half a link each time you do that sometimes it might even be a little tough to get that last one then you know you did a good job and then they do make spiders that you can put on here to keep these tensioned as you're going down the road but we're flat better so we always got bungees on the truck so grab a couple of bungees and go around that chain in such a way that the bungees will keep it tight when you start driving. So I usually grab a couple of 31 inch bungees and go in a crisscross pattern and then try to make sure that you're not going to get your hooks digging into the sidewall of your tires. And then probably your maximum speed that you're going to want to drive is about 25 miles an hour. Watch your cross chains. If they start flying too far away from the tire, the chain is probably getting too loose and you want to stop and tighten it up. 
if you have an opportunity to move the truck and tighten the chain before you actually pull out on the highway and start driving, that's a really good thing. When you're ready to take them off, loosen them up, disconnect them, grab the chain, pull it off the top of the tire and out to the side of the truck. Then you can just move the tire off the chain and you're ready to go.